Bitcoin is going up. Bitcoin liquidity crisis is coming. Get prepared. I think we could see prices go much, much higher. People are trying to figure out why we're over 11,000, 11,005. I'll tell you why. But first, let me say this is Crypto Wealth. Thank you for watching the video. If you believe in cryptocurrency, you believe in the future of cryptocurrency, smash that like button. Drop a subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon. All right, let's get into this. I've been talking about this for a long time. This news story came out and I was like, that's exactly what I've been talking about on this channel. People, you know, people hear my enthusiasm for cryptocurrency and they think I'm crazy. One thing about it, I am a, a cryptocurrency enthusiast bar none. I mean, I get to talking to people sometimes and they're like, man, you got to calm down. But listen, people don't understand how incredible, how incredible this technology is. Even people in crypto don't fully get it. It is mind blowing how many people don't understand what decentralization is, what a trustless blockchain is, why that is important. I mean, it is unreal. Why they don't understand the fundamentals of why cryptocurrency is going up well you know what you don't need to understand the fundamentals all you need to know is it is probably going up very very high by the way this isn't financial advice i'm not an expert i've lost money in crypto i've made money in crypto i've had enormous losses in crypto so don't follow my advice however use this for entertainment use this as a point of reference and let it send you on your own bunny trail to do your own research i'm going to be talking about why i think bitcoin is an incredible investment what's been going on we've got some late breaking news talking about a bitcoin liquidity crisis this is unbelievable this is i think this is just a sign of things to come i believe this is a, a beginning trend that we're going to see more and more about in this video so i'm going to get to that i think personally that bitcoin is going to change lives change the future change fortunes really cryptocurrency in general but bitcoin is the single best use case for cryptocurrency in my opinion and that is as a fully decentralized trustless cryptocurrency or currency by the way I think the single best investment, not investment advice, my opinion, I think the single best investment in the future may be Bitcoin. It's a high risk space. But the only thing that might compete with Bitcoin is being able to have some sort of business that earns passive income through cryptocurrency. If you want to learn how to start earning passive income in a way that is that is pretty much, well, it's risk free, go down in the description subscribe to our cryptocurrency passive profits newsletter now listen to me carefully once you subscribe to that newsletter you're not done you're going to get redirected to a video it's going to tell you about your bonuses you're going to get once you confirm your subscription and it's going to also tell you about our cryptocurrency our crypto passive profits course and our monthly membership that course is all about learning how you can on a shoestring budget you can learn to build a passive profit income with cryptocurrency by actually starting and growing and building your own business you don't want to miss that let's get into this have you hit that subscribe button yet be sure to hit that subscribe button so these 11 companies own three percent of the bitcoin supply i'm going to read through this article and then we're just going to break it down these 11 companies own three percent of the bitcoin supply is a liquidity crisis brewing i have been talking about this for well over a year let's keep going Bitcoin's price has been rallying higher throughout the past few days with this newfound momentum largely stemming from the hype surrounding Square's recent decision to purchase $50 million worth of Bitcoin. This news was significant and helped boost investor confidence while also catalyzing a strong uptrend. BTC is nearly uh, is up nearly $1,000 from where it was prior to its announcement. Many investors are also anticipating more companies to follow suit. Pause. Let me say this real quick. I put a video up about this and I talked about Twitter. I called it Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey buys 50 million in Bitcoin. Why? Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey is also the owner of Square. I said Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey because I thought that was going to be a little bit more a bigger name recognition for people. And I wanted to create, I wanted to get people's attention. However, it's astounding how few people actually watch this video. I mean, it is astounding. Of the people who watched it, it's got 100% likes. I encourage you to watch this video. Listen, if you subscribe to my channel, I'm going to keep you up to date on what news is coming along. That is big, big news for the future of the cryptocurrency space. But it blows my mind how many people, remember what I said earlier about most people don't fully understand the fundamentals of what makes cryptocurrency so incredible. They're so busy looking for the next thing that's going to give you know make them rich overnight, make them rich overnight. 
cryptocurrency in and of itself. I mean, holding Bitcoin in and of itself will eventually make some people feel like overnight millionaires. Who knows? Maybe even billionaires, decamillionaires. Is that a thing? Who knows? Like, I, I literally believe the first trillionaires on the planet in personal wealth, not trillionaire in, in assets, like in personal wealth will be someone who holds cryptocurrency in the future. All right, let's keep going. Although MicroStrategy and Square are the only non-cryptocurrencies that have made headlines for their adoption of Bitcoin as a reserve asset. Remember this, reserve asset. We'll talk about that. Data shows that in total, 11 publicly traded companies own 3% of the benchmark cryptocurrency's total supply. This is significant and may signal that a sell-side liquidity crisis is looming on the horizon as the balance of spot BTC on exchanges continues diving. If more corporations follow suit and enter a Bitcoin buying frenzy, it could cause the price of Bitcoin to ascend rapidly. Understand what they're saying is a sell-side liquidity crisis, meaning you want to you want to buy so you have to buy on an exchange you buy from the people that are selling but if nobody is selling then you have to pay higher and higher prices so a sell side liquidity crisis means that there's no liquidity available for people to buy so that causes prices to go up in other words limited supply high demand if more corporations follow suit in their Bitcoin buying frenzy, it could cause the price of Bitcoin to ascend rapidly. And it could ascend to levels that we have not seen. Do you hear me? It could ascend to levels that we have not seen. You know, we thought $20,000 Bitcoin was something a couple of years ago, but $20,000 Bitcoin was not even coming from any large investors, any large investment banks, or any large companies. And by the way, people always get excited when Grayscale buys Bitcoin or some other investment trust buys Bitcoin. That's not, for me, fundamentally, that's not nearly as important as when a company chooses to use Bitcoin as a reserve asset. What does that mean? If you don't know what a reserve asset means, it basically means that they're using it as a hedge against their own dollar positions. They're holding U.S. dollars or some other currency. They're worried about that currency potentially losing value. So they want to have a hedge against their own holdings or against their own savings so it's a reserve asset it's it's a, it's a hedge against whatever capital they have available that's unbelievable that corporations are considering instead of just holding dollars or potentially gold they're considering holding bitcoin mind-blowing mind-blowing Bitcoin's price within the world has long been debated, with some believing that it is best suited to be a store of value, while others laud its ability to be a payment rail. It's both. At the moment, its main utility appears to be ability to act as a reserve asset. Multiple major companies have been buying massive quantities of BTC throughout the past few months. Expect that con to continue. MicroStrategy was one of the first non-crypto focused companies to announce that they were converting all of their reserve USD into Bitcoin in order to escape imminent inflation. Right here, this is it. If you don't understand inflation, I mean, you you've got you have got to go watch the, the documentary Money as Debt. I, I recommend this to every middle schooler, everyone in my family. Like you gotta have your 12-year-old child watch money as debt if you're an adult and you've never seen that you know what i'm gonna link it above let me make a quick note i'm gonna link it above you need to watch money as debt you need to understand our banking system that's going to help you understand some of the fundamentals of bitcoin and cryptocurrency by the way if you've seen the documentary money as debt post it down in the comments tell me hey i've seen money as debt i want to know who who of our subscribers and viewers have seen that by the way i think this is incredible micro strategy a non-crypto focused company you see Square, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey owns Square. Square is a payment company. So I, I can kind of understand. I mean, they own Cash App. Cash App allows people to buy Bitcoin. So I can understand some business reasons for why they might can own Bitcoin and why that might be smart. But when you say a non-payment processor company, a non-crypto focused company like MicroStrategy buying Bitcoin, as a reserve asset, see that that means corporations are that's different than a, an investor 
a small investor, you know, saying, hey, I think I should own some Bitcoin just because I think, you know, the dollar is going to collapse. This is a large company that has a lot at stake. And they're like, you know what? We're going to buy Bitcoin. Th that means something, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep going. Square quickly followed in its footsteps, putting the total number of public companies holding Bitcoin at 11, with all the others being crypto focused companies. BTC may soon face a sell side liquidity crisis. One analyst explained in a recent tweet that the fact that 11 public companies own 3% of the BTC supply indicates that a sell side liquidity crisis could be on the horizon. This may send Bitcoin prices surging significantly higher in the midterm. Bitcoin treasuries and publicly traded companies. That's interesting. These are all the publicly traded companies. As more companies be, be, begin turning to unorthodox means to protect their capital from imminent inflation, it may gobble up, it, it may gobble away at the already limited supply of circulating spot Bitcoin available for purchase. This could create a sell side liquidity crisis that drives Bitcoin prices significantly higher. Again, not investment advice, but you have to be aware of these fundamentals. I want to talk about this for a moment. Understand, and I'm going to share with you a video, but understand, like when I have, I said, I don't know, when did I do this video? Let's see. I talked about, will Bitcoin reach $1 million? This is back in 2008, December of 2008. So we're talking almost two years ago. In this video, one of the things that I referred, and I'll, I'll link it above, put it down in the description. You can take a look at it. In this video, and by the way, it, I just got to say, if you don't understand inflation, you have to watch this video. Most people, it, it amazes me how many people don't understand inflation. I have, I have some friends who are entrepreneurs, builders, contractors, and, and you know, th th some of the stuff that they're doing, they're marketing, they're selling, they're pushing deadlines out because prices of raw material are going up and they're harder to get a hold of. Several companies have talked about raising their minimum wage for their employees corporately. They're talking about raising those wages up to like $15. I think Walmart's talking about raising their wages to $15 per hour nationally. There's a reason for that. It's not because they just want to give everyone a raise. It is absolutely a sign of coming inflation. You need to understand this because this is the fundamental purpose for Bitcoin. Okay, here's what I want to get to. Watch this video. Will Bitcoin reach $1 million? Yes, and here's why. I talk about in this video and this one as well. I'll put both of them down below. Will Bitcoin reach $1 million? The math proves it. I'll talk in both of these videos. I discuss some of the fundamentals. But one of the things I talk about is that Bitcoin price is going to go up once central governments start deciding to do the same thing that these corporations are doing in this article. When you have central government saying, you know what? Just in case, on a, the, we already know that, well, if you watch this channel, you know the U.S. government is already talking about creating FedCoin. I just did a video on this. It's amazing how many people didn't watch this video, but I did a video about this. I'll link it above. I'll put it down below in the description. I highly encourage you to watch this. Listen, this is a masterclass on the fundamentals of cryptocurrency, literally. Watch my videos and go do your own research. But here's the thing. We already know that countries are going to create their own cryptocurrencies. FedCoin, for example, the U.S. digital currency. Centralized, not decentralized. That's the big key. Centralized. Also, combine that with the fact that China's doing something similar. Russia's doing something similar. All of the other developed countries are looking to create their own digital currency. But here's the problem. Do you think China for payment is going to take the FedCoin? No. Do you think Russia is going to take Chinese current uh, digital currency? for payment on goods and on, on their uh, import exports? No, they're going to need some sort of third party uh, trustless intermediary that could easily be something like Bitcoin. There's one way that they could start using it. And if that starts happening, they're going to start buying up cryptocurrency. Now, there's only 21 million of these things, period, 21 million. Do you know how many million or millions could already be lost? in wallets that, that are gone. I mean, why is there a, a liquidity crisis on the sell side? Because there's, there's no Bitcoin available for that. People want to sell right now at $10,000. That's why. And you got just a few corporations barely buying. I mean, this is, let's face it. This is interesting news, but this is a drop in the bucket. This is nothing. Now you start letting, you start letting some S and P fortune 500 companies start doing this. You, you start seeing Exxon buying Bitcoin as a hedge. Oh, buddy, look out. You start seeing the Microsoft's Apple's buying Bitcoin as a hedge. Look out. The price is going through the roof. But what's bigger than that? 
you start letting China, Russia, Iran, the UK, the US, Australia start buying Bitcoin as a hedge or any other cryptocurrency for that matter, you start seeing them buy that as a hedge. And then what can happen is you can potentially, potentially see a bit of a, 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 a war, a, a cryptocurrency war, price war sort of thing, where they're going to start hoarding just like they've hoarded gold. All of these major countries in the past, South American countries, I just named a few, but there's, you know, there's a hundred plus countries that could start buying up cryptocurrency and kind of hoarding it. And they're, you know, trying to, to one up the other one. That is going to change everything. And at that point, it almost doesn't matter about things like the Fed coin. Why? Because people aren't going to care. They'd rather hold something like Bitcoin than the Fed coin. Just my personal opinion. Just my personal opinion. I fully believe the price of Bitcoin is going up long term. Now, in the short term, again, if you go watch the video of Fed coin, I talk about how we might see a price drop. We might see a price drop. But long term, this price is going up. No one's going to be able to stop it. It is. You combine that with the programmable aspect of Ethereum. You're talking about a one two combo that nobody, absolutely no one is going to stop. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to position yourself with knowledge. You want to position yourself with knowledge. Go down below, subscribe, start earning passive cryptocurrency. Start earning passive cryptocurrency. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to put up the entire playlist, my Bitcoin to $1 million and why I believe Bitcoin is going to $1 million. I encourage you to watch that. Go through that playlist. Start watching those videos. Make certain that you have a full grasp of that. I'll also be sure to include the video money as debt. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a revolution. Cryptocurrency is going to change the world. The question is, are you on board? The train's leaving the station. You don't have to buy cryptocurrency, but you might want to start learning about it. Crypto equals freedom. This is Crypto Wealth. I'm out.